I mean, seriously though, like, what, what, what? Oh. What do I even say? What do I even say to this look? Like, girl, killed it, murdered it. <laughs> what's up welcome back to my channel like i feel really good today i'm not gonna lie it took me a minute to like get up and film i already knew what i wanted to film and i'm just like please <laughs> it was so hard to get up and this quarantine literally just has me drained but I'm feeling great today, I'm feeling spontaneous, and I know that this look that I'm about to do is going to blow your socks off. So I'm like, you know what? I took my braids out, I did my hair, I'm feeling good. I finished my set up, yes. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into this makeup tutorial. Not gonna lie, these last few days I have been under the weather, not COVID-19. <laughs> Don't do me, boo. <laughs> But I have had like a very bad stomach ache and then I've had some girl issues, you know what I'm saying? Like I just ain't been feeling it. But I'm feeling a lot better today. So today's look, I am doing a dewy, like super just porcelain, Barbie doll skin, all of that in one. Like I want you to look beat and I also am doing this video for my oily girls. I'm an oily girl. But I do this look when I really want to look dewy, like on red carpets and stuff, like my highlight be popping and stuff without looking oily and like fish grease, you know? So if you've always wondered how to do it, this is your time and your chance to learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because you guys know the do on the brows. Like I'm so basic when it comes to my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in off camera. Alrighty, brows are finished. We are going to move on to prepping the skin. I'm going to go with this Black Radiance Balm Stick. This thing is so good, you guys. And it is just like... And I just apply it like right on the cheeks. And then I go in with clean fingers. Clean phalanges. <laughs> Look at how glowy and healthy my skin looks. Like it looks really radiant and clean and just like squeaky. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Foundation. This is in the shade Deep Neutral One. And I'm going to buff this foundation in with a Revlon buffing brush. So yes, I know this foundation is just a tad bit darker than my original skin tone, but it's okay. I like to go a little darker anyway and then balance it out with my concealer. All right, for highlight, I'm just going in with my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade Tan. And I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of the Black Radiance Concealer in yellow. And this is really good for brightening for all of my brown skin girls out there. If you really want a nice brightening concealer, like that true yellow concealer, this Black Radiance one is perfect. And I'm going to let that dry down for about 30 seconds so that it can really keep that nice pigment. All right, now I'm gonna go with the High Def Blending Brush and I'm just going to start buffing that concealer in using very light strokes. I also like brushes too because I don't have to touch the sponge. It doesn't get all over my hands. I can fit into small creases easily on the face, like so. And just like that, all of my liquids, my whole base is pretty much done. We're gonna move on to powders. Alrighty, to set the face, I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance setting powder, and I'm also gonna go in with the Sasha Buttercup light setting powder to give me that extra brightening effect. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go with this flat Kabuki powder brush and I'm going to apply just a little bit of the powder first. I'm gonna apply 
a layer to set and I'm literally just gonna go in and push that powder in and I'm setting my whole face with one layer of powder first all right and then after the first layer I'm gonna go in and apply a second layer all over the face and this is because I'm oily I'm super oily and then I just go and apply a third layer to bake with and I only bake on the areas where I get super oily okay now to set the face and bring color back into the skin I'm going to go with the Sephora micro smooth powder in deep 56 and I'm using a nice fluffy powder brush for this and I'm just going to apply this on all the areas I'm not baking so everywhere but the center of my face really and this is just gonna bring back some color I'm not doing too much moving I'm just letting the brush do the work I'm buffing that color in so that I don't disturb any of the product okay now time to start bronzing the skin I'm gonna go in with this black radiance pressed powder this is in the shade golden almond and I'm not taking it like under the sideburn like this would be under my sideburn I'm taking it right where the sideburn starts like the top of the sideburn and I'm really focusing this product like no further than the center of my eye because I don't want to drag it down too much. And look at that. Jawline, no jawline. <laughs> jawline, no jawline. Reasons to love makeup. You get free plastic surgery. Come on, who doesn't want free plastic surgery? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna contour, which is basically deepen the bronzer up and make it really defined. I'm gonna go with this Wow Factor bronzer in Dark Plum. So I'm just defining the contour now. I'm still keeping it in the same area, just darkening it and deepening it up a lot more. I think it's all my lights. I'm getting kind of toasty up in here. Whew. For blush, I'm going to apply this Sephora Blush Contour Palette. And I'm gonna use this raspberry shade in the bottom right corner. I'm just gonna start right there on that contour and then work my way to the cheekbone. You don't wanna start right on the cheekbone because then you'll probably end up applying too much product if you're not careful. Just like that. I just apply a little bit to the tip of the nose this balances out the color in your face believe it or not it really does I'm also going to use this contour shade out of this palette to snatch my nose love a good contoured nose go back in with that same buffing brush that I applied the powder with and I'm going to sweep the bake away and I'm also going to buff it in at the same time. So I'm kind of like doing buffing, sweeping motions. And she is looking big. Ouch. Okay, so here is the secret. Here is like the big whoa. I'm going to show you how to get your skin to look like baby doll skin go in with your favorite finishing spray whatever spray you like to use and drench your face don't let it drip get you a fan or something shout out to my girl chastity um she's probably upside down <laughs> but get you a fan or something and fan your face so that that setting spray can really do its job set the face you don't want it to have like drips on it. Um, you want it to stay where it is. So you want to start fanning right away. Okay, so my face is about 90% dry. You don't want it to be too wet, but you want it to be, you know, 95. You want it to be about 98% dry. 
And then you're gonna grab your favorite highlighter. I have so many, I can't even begin to start on what are my favorite ones. But today, one of my favorite ones is gonna be the Artist Couture Loose Powder. And it's the Sugar Daddy one. Ooh, y'all, this highlight is bomb. It's bomb, like, everything, for real, for real. I have no clue, I've had this brush for a long time, but it looks like this, get you a dome brush, you can use a fan brush, I prefer a dome brush. And you're going to start off with a little, not too much, apply some of that highlighter on the brush. You're going to face the light or fine, like where that light hits your face. And you're just going to brush the highlight on. For some people, the light kind of hits up there. I don't like putting highlighter there. It just doesn't look good on me. It also depends on your face shape. Like wherever you find that light is where you want to apply it and it's not separated, you know? It's not like just by itself. Like it's a part of the contour and the blush. Then my favorite part, the nose. You're gonna apply like just a little bit on your nose, not too much. And then right here on the bridge of your nose. You can also apply a little bit on your forehead. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I use with the setting powder. And I'm just going to lightly go over it. I'm not trying to cover it, I'm just trying to dilute it a little bit. And this is also like the same step as going back in with your beauty blender and making sure everything is pressed down and laid. This is what the brush does as well. It just gives you like that nice extra set. Okay, now I'm gonna get you guys all close and personal. I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm going to apply some of that highlight. And I'm just gonna pop it right on the eye. And on top of that, I'm going to apply some clear lip gloss. This is the clear lip gloss by She. It's really a lip oil, so it's not really sticky. Like it's not gonna make your eyelids feel sticky. I'm just going to apply that right on top of that highlight, just like that. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right, so I'm going to go pop on some of my lashes for my lash line, shadylashes.com if you don't have any, and then I'll be right back. Lashes are on. We are going to finish this look off with our lips. I'm going to align my lips with a concealer today. And I'm going to blot the concealer with a detailed eyeshadow brush. I'm going to apply a nude lipstick. This is the Collab Matte Addiction Lipstick in Tees. Apply it right in the center. Top my lips off with the Avita Nourishment Lip Glaze in Bronze Glaze. This lip gloss is amazing, I'm almost out. And then to really make the lip gloss pop, I'm gonna go back in with that same lip oil that I used on the lid. And apply a layer of that. Look at those lips. Mm. Luscious, luscious lips. I look like a glazed donut. No lie, I think this is one of my favorite looks I've ever, ever done. Okay, let me go fix my hair and put on a different shirt and then we'll be right back with the finished look. Alrighty y'all, this is the finished look. You know when you feeling yourself and you looking real cute, you can't help but sing. This is how I achieve my super flawless, glossy, just like porcelain. Look at the, look at the skin, look at the skin. I'm kind of giving off like 90s, maybe schoolgirl vibes. I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a lot of different vibes here, but I'm super duper in love with this look. If you like this look, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. Click that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe for more makeup tutorials. If there is any type of makeup tutorial you'd like to see me do on my channel, please comment and let me know. 
But I had fun recording this video today. I'm so glad that I did it because it came out amazing. Thank you guys once again for coming to watch and I will see you in my next video. Peace. I mean, seriously though, like, wait, wait, wait. Oh. What do I even say? What do I even say to this look? Like, girl, killed it, murdered it. <laughs>